So, and then Officer Bob, I didn't get his last name, maybe I should have. Okay, he's starting it up here. They understood that we can't wrap everything up. We're streaming up. live from Occupy and, and Honolulu. I, and he asked me directly if we could do it tomorrow. I said, yes, we can do it tomorrow. We'll do it first thing in the morning. Well, he came back. He came back 15, less than 15 minutes ago and said that. To, draw, to basically break the law and get her stuff out, which if we break the law, we were warned. I, I don't know, it was one, one of the gentlemen in the uh, Aloha show. So if we cross this line after the warning, that is a violation yeah. which is cause for arrest. I do know the law. It was and Santos or Cravalho. So we are true. asking as... Yeah, you guys are supposed to get everything out. That's what, under our, our impression was, right. everything was supposed to be Well, they never tonight. said, they never, he even said that they understood. Earlier when he came back, he did, uh, and so gave me the we original going list. To the going to come clean up. But, but they, but that actually falls on Bill 54. Bill 54. Bill 54. Bill 54. Bill 54. Bill 54. Um, well, I think a lot of this is just trash. I mean, some of it, yeah. No, this, I have my only personal effect, but I am not going to break the law again. I mean, if you force me and you arrest me, the Honolulu Police Department will have a lawsuit on that. Because, I mean, it's nothing against you gentlemen, I know you guys are doing your job. I was under the impression that you guys were warned from 1 o'clock. No, sir, we were not. We okay, were let me go check warned. on that and I'll be back in the Okay, and we will diligently get on it first thing in the morning at 5 a.m. That was a discussion going on uh, about what seemed like uh, very contradictory uh, instructions by the police officers in the Aloha shirts. Uh, Santos and Carvalho to um, leave uh, the area of the park and at the same time to remove their property from the area which you can't do unless you enter the park. Seize your private property under Bill 54 requires 24 hours notice and that policeman just contradicted that by saying that Things that are not removed will be subject to subject to um, seizure or cleaning up disposal. Uh, I know we're recording this so that we can go back on the record and check to see what was really said, which is why uh, we are recording this. Now, those are two uniformed uh, policemen on that side are three public affairs officers. Oh, sorry and, to interrupt, but and we're not on, supposed to ride bicycles on the sidewalk. <laughs> and uh, we have some law enforcement officers, I guess, enforcing our right to free speech <laughs> and to uh, lie by the roadside undisturbed. It's good, I think, for the police to look after the public's interest. Indeed it is. And to make sure that there is a public forum for the discussion of things. And because, so that we have a space. To and that we have a, a space that the public has a space to discuss things because where else is such a space? You know? And to, uh, how does it go? Redress redress, redress and grievances. For redress and redress grievances. Um, we have the police, I guess. Oh, one of us go over there and another authorizes us to break the law now. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to go to them. I want to. Yeah. I'm gonna on the other side are um, three uh, bicycle officers. On the other side of the street are three uh, aloha shirt officers, public affairs used to call them officers. And down the street, which we can't see now, are um, uniformed officers. Yeah, there we go. So we're trying to straighten out what actually if Occupy Honolulu were to comply, what is it that they would comply with? It's not even clear at this moment. Not at all. So. Since the first night they told us we couldn't be on the sidewalk. There's apparently no legal place for us to peaceably assemble to... Is that one we just came up with? Uh, Re uh, uh, redress of grievances. To petition the government, government for, for redress, redress of, of grievances. grievances. I mean, being on the public sidewalk, 
is a safety hazard. Cars can come off the road and run over people in tents. The, the, the noise and the pollution alone from the cars on the sidewalk is a health and safety hazard. How can they put people on there? When we're human beings on Earth and there is land that hasn't been developed yet, that developed as, that hasn't been, you know, covered over with cement. Let's let's, uh, let's see what the let's see what these the are. I'm gonna follow today. the officers, and they're gonna have a powwow with the uh, uniformed officers in the park. So I can't follow them into the park. So. Why would I do all that work? You're not paying me. We're going to allow you to take ice. What about the sleeper? We're not going to take ice. We're not going to take ice. We're not going to take ice. How can we do it for fire? If everybody has a rape, it's a private property. It's a tent. 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 Well, then you need to go to the shop, to Bill 54, to give us the notice with proper... If you read the sign, sir. If you read the sign, sir. The ordinance does not that from, doesn't have to uh, count because zone starts at the sign and goes at the sign. I know zoning laws. I'm sorry? A zone starts at the sign and goes past the sign. Like a speed limit sign? Did when it goes 25... You know, it's pointing outwards to let you know that... Yes, that's what I'm saying. Speed limit sign doesn't start from where you see it, it's where you cross where the sign is. Yeah, so that's about the same with that. But we just don't want to break the law. We're just going to break the law. We're just going to break the law. We're just going to break the law. You want a robot? Right? Yeah. You want to I take understand. it up, saying the way you want to say it? I understand. You go explain it to me. So there's no zoning map to one to prove that this is part they of the They did it today. They were That's here. Not That's, That's, That's not a map. That's not a map. They were here. No, no, no. The map is not completed yet. It's going to take some time for them to draw It's not completed, but you're enforcing something that's so, not completed? Yes, ma'am. Correct. Oh. But regarding which bill? Not, not no bill. bill. Park okay, rules. Park rules. So, the previous two. map that had lines on it didn't okay, have this line It doesn't line apply. Out. It was clarified today at 1 o'clock. Oh, so it came it at we, 1 o'clock today. I came in a form. You, the Department of Transportation stated that where you are is in violation of the park rules. We're going to give you every opportunity. Please let me finish. We're going to give you every opportunity to move your tent. If you fail to move your tent, you'll be in violation. Please enter the park and move, remove your tent. So what, they have permission to enter the park after yes. the restriction? Yes. For the third time, you're allowed to enter the park to actively, actively remove your tent. But these tents don't belong to people here. Okay. Then they will be, then it will be dismantled and confiscated. Doesn't Bill 54 require not on a written notice? Not for it does. For tent. seizure. Not for a park tent. Uh, a tent in a park. Okay, they're, then they're, they're trying to get over Bill 54 for the city of 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 the
Still getting some toots, honks of support from people. The owners of many of these tents are here. That's a park rule. That's a park rule. But the park rules do not give you jurisdiction to confiscate property. That's not in the park rule. The park rule does not say anything about confiscating property. You know us, we're always here every night to enforce the park rules. Yes, and you told us on many nights that this was not part of the park. And now suddenly it is. We need just one of you guys to be here to make sure. I'm going to make the last announcement, please. Okay, let me explain. Any, any, excuse me, sir. Any tents or personal property that belong to you, you folks will be allowed to go in the park and retrieve them. Any tents or personal property that do not belong to you will be confiscated. Please enter the, the park, comply, and remove your tent or your personal property. Sir, who is going to confiscate these things? Okay, uh, let, me, uh, let me read this bill, okay? Everybody camera on me, okay? This is section, this is section 29-.2. Okay, public property means all property that is owned, managed, or maintained by the city shall include, but not limited to, any street, sidewalk, replacement sidewalk, media strip, space, ground, building, structure, public park, and any other property of the city. Thank you very much. That's uh, Michael Vandemark of uh, Watch by Honolulu. I guess since we now have uh, authority to enter, we have we can enter, right? Enter the area. No, well, if you're gonna come in, to grab the tents. Then you can come in. Well, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna check. Make a check for personal uh, Anything personal property. Don't you grab your property before it's taken care of. So we get, we get a chance to see. We have a light in here. I'd like to. Oh, no, it's a generator cell. Yeah. What, whatever is your guys' cell, just take Okay. Uh, sorry, we can't see anything in here. Usually there's a light in here. The, uh, the generator uh, went out, so uh, we can't see much. Um, there's a full library here. Uh, equipment to sustain, uh, sustain life. Uh, schedules. This is a night security schedule I'm looking at. There's always a couple people up to, out, up to make sure um, people are uh, safe here. There's been a lot of uh, effort to try and maintain um, safety. I just walked through. Uh, I'm now on uh, park what they define now, the new definition of park, and we can see uh, living stuff very well organized, uh, containers and, and dishes, uh, building areas. There is a garbage can, a trash can with a bagged garbage, a compost area, compost. Uh, barrel uh, because people were growing uh, um, vegetables and that sort of thing. Here's some um, planting buckets and that sort of thing. Uh, smoking is bad for you but in order to keep the area um, smoke free there was respect. This is, you can't see the sign, it says smoking area. Um, and now I'm photographing, I mean, videoing from inside the park. You'll notice um, that the entire encampment, and that's the main tent we were just in, the living portion of the tent, uh, is within this rock, it's outside of the rock wall that seems to define uh, the park area, which is why um, Occupy was built outside of that area. Um, and you'll notice that uh, where the tents start, the tents are all on the P 
concaved part of the of the area which seems to describe the part we would call the sidewalk um, there's some people here gathering up private property uh, with uh, people looking on I guess there's one pitched on the sidewalk area already in strict compliance to the law of the splintered paddle and I think what campers will do now is to change the look of Occupy Honolulu. Here comes some state workers apparently here to clean up That's good, the Sam. I want to talk area. What you want that So I'm going to back up here so I don't get run over. We have uh, two trucks, truckloads of people. And I'm going to, we're going to try and listen in on what the police have to, I need to go, chat uh, with these guys. So we got a couple of, we got a couple of trucks and a crew here to uh, assist in the cleanup of the area. If, if somebody's out there, if you can uh, use a hashtag Occupy Honolulu and tell them that the encampment is being moved to the sidewalks if they have stuff here to get down here that would be nice if you're on Facebook uh, the same would be nice this is the uh, I'm gonna back up here a second so I can get a complete zoom out look at what's going on if you're just uh, tuning in what we have is uh, Occupy Honolulu at the corner of Barry Canyon Ward uh, under eviction threat or breakdown threat. What happened was uh, earlier in the afternoon uh, state crews came and changed painted uh, dots on the sidewalk that changed the boundary of where the park was which made the entire Honolulu Occupy Honolulu encampment suddenly illegal and uh, they lost no time a few hours later came down I got a call I got a tweet thank you around 9 40 p.m. saying that they'd be here at 10 and indeed they were here at 10 p.m. which is official park closing uh, threatening people telling them they had to leave but their stuff was not subject to seizure and then came back and said that they had to go violate the law of leaving the park to go into the park and take their tents down or be subject to these trucks here recently passed was uh, Bill 54 which allows the removal of private property whether it's attended or unattended um, but requires 24-hour notice uh, so this is obviously done under some other kind of rule and if they had such a rule available I'm wondering why they needed Bill 54 um, why they needed Bill 54 at all uh, 
Bill 54, they said, would not be um, enforced by police. It would just be city crews coming in and seizing attended personal property. And we can see the encampment moving toward the sidewalk. It's going to be a new look for Occupy Honolulu. It might be better. It's going to be uh, spread out more space for signage, more space for communicating with people, make it easier for people to see what the deal is. Um, I'm going to take a walk down here. We'll see the progress. We can see actually also the care in which the grounds are made were put together here is uh, where some tents were you can see it's right on the area that's concrete which seems to describe sidewalk I mean you know to to you and to to me it would seem that this concrete part leading up to the wall is clearly sidewalk and what they did earlier today was they moved um, you can see this dot here on the on the ground they're saying that okay that describes the uh, and we can see another dot so people are are very uh, diligently tearing tearing down um, the area. You can see here another one of the dots. This dot uh, describes what they claim is a boundary area. You can see that a uh, there's nothing really saying why the dots connectors have to be straight lines and we can see that an artist from Occupy Honolulu has made the interpretation of the space between dots as a nicely curved line you can if I had more light you could see chalk art uh, connecting it to this point right here another dot you can see that being this pointed This is the out. survey point that they just, they just created. Created. My yes, friend, we have... Uh, concerned for your personal property? But why are we making this easy for them? But why are we making it easy for them? Yes. Set your shit down and let them pick it up and see what happens. Set your shit down! Indeed. As soon as they get tired and go home, we'll paint more dots on the ground. Sir, are going to be moving or not? Yeah, I'm going to stay on the side. you guys molding, stabbing your guys' stuff in. We are giving you guys the opportunity to remove your items. They're actually ordering us to remove our stuff. Um, now let me uh, speak a little on the logistics of the uh, encampment. Uh, I spent a lot of time here actually, I, I'm, you know, and uh, in the beginning people would pass by and say stuff like, get a job and that kind of stuff. People would assume that it was some kind of homeless encampment when, uh, although very supportive of the homeless community, they would feeding homeless people and that sort of thing. Uh, most of the people here had homes and were camped here in order to make a political statement. Um, very uh, broad range of, uh, in terms of demographics, in terms of age. Uh, there were kids here. Uh, young people, college students, uh, people, older people, I'm probably one of the older people, 
I'm in the uh, I'm in the late 50s. set up uh, to protest the uh, influence of corporations on government on the ownership of the small percentage of people at the expense of the vast majority of people, the 99%. Now, the 99% of the people, the aggrieved constituency, is composed of uh, many different people, and a lot of them came together here. Doug. You don't want to your the The one down the property. The no. They made the woman leave. Why did they need Bill 54 if they had the authority? What if I don't this kind of property Oh, we can leave that. What if I don't leave this one? Ten coming through. <laughs> Moving, uh, let's follow this tent. December 17th, this bill was signed. Here's the new uh, encampment coming up. This is actually pretty cool right here on the sidewalk. A lot of uh, space for signage or long messages. More stuff coming here. Actually, my understanding is just tent. They said the other property can stay inside, and that would be subject to Bill 54, 24 hour notice. The park is just say no tent. My interpretation, I'm not a lawyer, so don't take well, my What do they say about teepees? <laughs> Good question. So we have a fairly large population of uh, police officers and other state crews. Um, and they're not here to help enforce the freedom of speech, that's for sure. They're here to um, do the opposite. Where is the public forum? I would like to know. Hey, we could use that. And I also rent the truck. The state knows about this because this is a we could park. use that. Tell well, the guy to pull up. <laughs> this state park is being leased. Maybe he is. He has been hired by the authorities. Thank you. Mark. Like, have a famous celebrity here, you can see. We're live from Occupy Honolulu at the corner of Ward and Baratania. So far, no uh, no pepper spray, no tear gas yet, no tasers. 
My understanding is that the non-tent personal property can stay. Those they won't subject. give us a clear answer on that. That the problem actually I've noticed is that we can't really get a clear answer. They won't answer any of my questions. I specifically asked them that if because they told us tent. I said if it's right. not a tent, does it count? And they will they refuse to give me a clear answer on that. Right. And if they had authority to do this without Bill 54, what what did they need Bill 54 for? And what they provided us all it says is that you may not have a tent. Right here. Ah. Oh. You may not situate any tent. It does tent. not say anything about any other property. So if okay. this is all they're enforcing, if they are not enforcing then Bill the other 54, stuff can stay in it there. specifically says a tent. What are they arresting for? Arresting who? Uh oh. I don't have any idea. We have an arrest going Wait, we have it on video that they said it. Yeah, exactly. We certainly do. Exactly. They're making up. Wait, I thought. Are we allowed to move this stuff? We're allowed to actually remove property. What are the charges against her? For park rules, we offered her the opportunity to remove property and she didn't want us to stand there. It looks like she has property in her hand. And she's her moving. moving. Okay. Okay. Anyone know her name? What's the no. Like no. I think that's pretty disturbing that you're telling us one thing and you're doing something else. If you're removing the property, we're not going to... We're not... What about those people? Those are civilians over there. Those are civilians. It doesn't matter. They're not law enforcement. They're civilians. Why is she being cited and then they aren't? She's moving her stuff. The one being arrested, Stephanie. We're trying to move our stuff. Also goes by the name uh, Ikwanin, one of the uh, artists of Honolulu Occupy Honolulu. Um, She's Lee Kuan Yin on Instagram if you want to check out a lot of the uh, artwork and photographs and also on Twitter and uh, this totally strikes me as unfair and bullshit. <laughs> Just my personal this is One of our artists being arrested, Stephanie, don't know her last name, Lee Kuan Yin on Instagram, Lee Kuan Yin on Twitter. Uh, if you check out uh, those handles, you can see a lot of, uh, Sister. A lot of her stuff. Lee Kuan Yin spelled I-I-Q-U-A-N-Y-I-N. Stephanie... Stephanie Keenan. Keenan, Keenan, that's it. Stephanie Keenan. E -E Kwan Yin on Nova. Instagram. And Facebook. Uh, we probably need a uh, pro bono attorney if somebody can get on the Twitter and uh, we're walking toward the down Baritania sidewalk to the far end of uh, Thomas Square uh, I have a long line of police cars here. Okay, the for ID. So I was saying lock up is about half a block away. Uh, we can actually walk down there and bail her off. Uh, no, 
that's how they don't see my stuff on. Um, I think about that one every day. That's why it's kind of like I'm not It's an arrest if you're just joining us. Occupy Honolulu. Eviction. Camp tear down. There are more police here than uh, occupiers. It's just tied on you like a. Uh, I don't have anything where me or you can get hurt. Um, I really don't have my iPhone now. And that is in your fanny pack? That's in my fanny pack. My ID is in my fanny pack. All that stuff is in your Whoa, whoa, that's what I'm saying. Be careful. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you keep the tie with the fanny pack? Because, well, um, how much bail do we have to raise? Yeah, all that stuff is in there. I, all of it's in a fanny pack. Yeah. Well, me? No, oh. no. Can I have permission yeah. just to grab out your ID? So you got to like, yeah, it's not like that. Is it in this? No. It was before, but I've been shifting my things. Not somebody gave me the fanny pack. A couple of days ago, my friend was bringing me stuff. Just in case we have to move back. Oh, okay. So, so it's, it's your ID's in here. here. Yeah, this is live now. streaming that's from Occupy Honolulu. Oh, yeah. I got all my stuff got stolen. Uh, I got oh, emptied yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Stephanie, just want you to. Um, I just want to show you that I'm 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 leaving all your stuff here. Arrest of Occupy Honolulu member I Kuan Yin, um, Stephanie Keenan, known as I Kuan Yin on uh, Facebook and. Twitter and Instagram. She is uh, one of Occupy Honolulu's artists. I Kuan Yin, spelled I Q U A N Y I N. I Kuan Yin or I Kuan Yin on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So check that out. I'm trying to find uh, the amount of the bail. I don't think it'll be uh, that substantial. I think all the rest pre pepper spray and tear gas are low and then after you reach that point I think the bail goes up. So one of the people actually living much of the time at the <laughs> encampment. Uh, well, this is especially significant uh, for her. We're definitely going to bust her out of uh, jail, which is half a block away. It'll take a while for them to process her and to charge her. Of course, with the camp moved out to the sidewalk, it's a little less Officers taking some identification, logistic information, name, weight, age, that sort of thing. Can't see it well, but... But... Um, off to the right is where she's sitting. Now I'm going to break the camera angle. I don't know if you can see down uh, 
the block a little ways was where another homeless person was encamped on the concrete section that appears to be the sidewalk but was within the new boundaries of the park and the uh, woman was told to leave. A uh, woman left her tent of course is still there. She's probably searching for a place uh, to spend the night and of course her house such that it is is now subject to seizure by the authorities so it's kind of a nonsensically crappy situation you know the um, problem of homelessness just completely escapes solutions from the kind of consumer culture that we live in. We just have no idea how to handle it. Uh, we want homeless people off the sidewalk, um, somewhere where we can't see, or that by we I'm meaning the people who are not homeless. What would we do if homelessness was caused by a potato blight or a great plague, as it has happened before, or a depression, as what happened before? Now it's caused by a worldwide, worldwide financial crisis in 2008 and continuing around the world. and. Uh, our culture has evolved to the point where we just don't know what to do with, about it. I, you know, uh, and people are arrested. Homeless people are arrested, uh, targeted by the law. There was recently a ordinance, city county ordinance passed, Bill 54, that allows for the seizure of private property, even if it's attended, um, aimed against the homeless, uh, also available for use against Occupy type um, encampments. And this is very somewhat ironically across the street from the Honolulu Academy of Arts, which was originally a private residence. I think Anna Rice Cook. Did I get that right? Somebody can check it on Twitter. And I'm getting a little uh, Twitter stream as I'm taking this. And 808 Lika, thanks for um, helping uh, disseminate the information. This is a live stream from Occupy Honolulu, which is across the street from the Honolulu Academy of Arts, which is uh, which was originally a uh, private residence. So on one side you have the great opulence of wealth that was gained from the original illegal occupation of Hawaii and right across the street some reaction action by people camped in tents with one of the occupants of Occupy Honolulu uh, arrested under arrest and being taken away Stephanie Keenan, or as she's known on Facebook, I Kuan Yin, I Q U A Y I N, I Kuan Yin, I'm sorry, I Q U A N Y I N. Uh, one of the resident artists, uh, photographer. Somebody knows uh, some pro bono attorneys, uh, 
we could uh, use some help. Police are checking on uh, medication required. Ikuan Yin is one of the older um, Occupy Honolulu people. I don't know if she's old as I am. I'm 59. I believe she's in her 50s. So, uh, I'm going to walk down the street see how the progress is going over at Occupy Honolulu. Actually, I don't want to. I don't want to leave uh, Stephanie. Seems to be in good. We're gonna bail you out. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> it's a long walk, you know. Just <laughs> <laughs> in good spirits. You know, I point you moon on my it's been tweeted out and people are looking at your uh, Instagram photos and everything oh, yeah. right now. I'm kind of internet famous, you guys. And you're, you're live streaming. Anything you want to say to people? I want to say that the cops are on the wrong side of history. And you know what? They're on the side of people who are destroying the environment, who are... So she's, she's, she's under arrest right now, yeah? So we cannot have this kind of stuff. Oh, it was a good. It was a good interview until the window Sorry, went man. up. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. And I'm going to walk away at the moment. Um, her response was that uh, she was afraid that the police were on the wrong side of history, on the side of the people that were destroying uh, society and the earth. But uh, we'll catch up with uh, Ai Kuan Yin, Ste uh, Stephanie later on she's in good spirits as you notice maybe we should uh, think of a bail fund here while I'm live streaming or maybe a art sale maybe some prints of uh, the Occupy Honolulu people, something like that. If you have an idea, send it to me. We're now running into the far side of the new camp, which in compliance with the law of the splintered paddle is by the side of the road, protected by the law of King Kamehameha. And the first formal law of the Hawaiian nation, an example of what laws should be. In the first place, make no law which harms innocent people. It's a great principle. Here we are back at the camp, or what was the camp. Where it continues uh, to be broken down. You can, you can, you can see the main tent. No, it isn't. Want to break my? See the, you know, all they do. The main compound here. Um, so you can see this is where the tents were on the concrete. What appears to be sidewalk and not park. Um, there's a tent. Um, the main compound. Meetings are there. Food preparation. Uh, library. You know, with books, uh, literature. The um, political kiosk in front is still standing. Quite a few uh, police, state workers. A lot of the police are wearing Aloha shirts, so it's hard to tell.
no pepper spray, no tear gas, no batons, tasers. One arrest. Uh, Stephanie Keenan, known to most people as I Kuan Yin, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, art and artist. There are people from the press who are here shortly after me. I was the first one live streaming, and I think I might be the only one live streaming at the moment. On the corner here is uh, Ikaika Hussey from the Hawaii Independent. I might walk down a ways. See at the uh, political kiosk. Occupy with the Occupy Cross, cross style de Occupy, in solidarity with the uh, Hawaiian people who believe that Hawaii is under an illegal occupation already. So this is like occupying the illegal occupation of Hawaii. And there is the declaration of the aggrieved constituency, which is 99% of everybody. Actually, more than that, I would say 99.9. On the uh, sidewalk, chalk.